This local breaking news alert. We're here to talk to you about the homicide of 164. What you indicated that you have some information about. For the first time, you're seeing a key part of the case that put Nico Jenkins, at the very least, in prison for the rest of his life. His confession to four murders is a story you'll only see on six. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. It's not yet set in stone, but it seems August 11th may be the date when a three-judge panel convenes to decide whether Nico Jenkins receives the death penalty. Uh, Jenkins has called our newsroom several times since his August arrest. We heard from him then, and now, for the first time, we hear him talk to detectives. Brian Mastry joins us with the exclusive details. John Mallory, with the guilty verdict in hand and the three judges selected for the death penalty phase today, Judge Battalion released the confession. Now, at times, it's hard to hear. And at other points, it's typical Nico Jenkins, the guy we've seen howl and chant about Egyptian gods at our cameras. The confession of Nico Jenkins began at 7.24 p.m. on September 3rd at Omaha Police Headquarters. This is going to be a long night. Indeed, it didn't end until the next morning. From a Douglas County Sheriff's investigators to Omaha homicide detectives, Nico Jenkins spent more than nine hours in the box. And I'm going to give you from A to Z, this is not no goose chase. This is the real deal right here. But it was a goose chase, at least in the beginning. He began by telling investigators that two brothers murdered Andrea Kruger at 168th and Fort. They were looking to idolize me and come back with a trophy. It's a trophy killer. He claimed they were first-time killers and made mistakes. So they're going to do stupid things like keep the windows rolled up while you're trying to burn the car. Fire has to breathe. See what I'm saying? The scenario did happen. Andrea Kruger's SUV was dumped in North Omaha. But investigators say it was Nico Jenkins' uncle, Warren Levering, who did it. Slowly, detectives got to the truth. Let me tell him, Nico, what happened? The hours that passed were now missing the bravado. Now, she was targeted. I will say that much. Eventually, Jenkins, in a whisper, That's what you have. began to admit his role in the murders. It is hard to hear from the interview room. Detectives knew what was going on, though. He then wanted to make sure his grievances about the Department of Corrections were heard. I just gave y'all four things a lot of you said you wanted to call here. Now you'll recall Nico Jenkins tried to tell the courts that detectives took advantage of his mental illness to get a confession. Now I watched hours of that DVD and understand how investigators say it was just part of Jenkins' manipulation. Reporting live, Brian Mastry, WW.